Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On this channel we talk life, food, family, and fun. And as promised in January, I'm going to be doing a new keto recipe every Thursday so that you can jumpstart a keto diet or get into one or get some new recipes. Just infuse some spice into your keto lifestyle. Speaking of spice, we're gonna do an Instant Pot coconut curry chicken that you're gonna love, your family's gonna love, everyone's gonna love. So stay tuned and let's do this. Before I forget, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video, which happens every Tuesday and Thursday, and you're gonna get all sorts of stuff from product reviews, makeup, parenting, food, all of that. Also, I had surgery on my head, so I had a little skin cancer, took out a pretty big chunk of the back of my head, so I'm wearing the beanie today, but it's January and winter and cute. Is it cute? Okay, I'm loving my Instant Pot. I actually just got it at Christmas time, and so I've only done three or four recipes in there, and every one has turned out really amazing. So I'm gonna take you into my kitchen and show you how I do it. Okay, so this is one of those dump and run kind of recipes. You're just gonna put everything into your Instant Pot and let it cook. Because this was the first time I was making this recipe, I actually made the sauce first to make sure that I liked it before I poured it over the chicken because, you know, once you pour it over raw chicken, you really shouldn't be tasting that until it's cooked. So I wanted to make sure that it was good. So I did mine on the stove top, but you don't need to do that at all. You can mix it into a bowl and then just pour it right over the chicken. So the first thing you're gonna do is get some chicken and you're gonna dice it up into cubes. I used chicken breast tenderloins and there's always nice and moist and not dry, really easy chopped them up then I used three ounces of tomato paste four ounces of green chilies six ounces of chopped white onion I just buy the frozen ones because those are easy and then I don't have to cry about it one 13.5 ounce can of coconut milk two teaspoons of minced garlic one teaspoon of ground ginger one teaspoon of turmeric three rounded teaspoons of curry powder one head of cauliflower cut into chunks and two tablespoons of butter so you're gonna mix all the sauce ingredients together in a bowl, or you can do it on the stove and do it to your taste, to your liking, and, and adjust the ingredients as you prefer. Then you're gonna pour the sauce into the pot, you're gonna put your chicken and your cauliflower in, give it a good stir, and then turn it on. So be sure and check your Instant Pot recommendations for poultry to make sure. I think mine was about 12, it's about nine to 12 minutes. It really doesn't take very long at all. And it comes out super yummy and delicious. And I know that normally you would put this over rice, but since it's got the big chunks of cauliflower in it, it really is a meal on its own. The cauliflower does not taste like cauliflower. It totally tastes like what you would get from a potato in a curry. So good. So there you have it, nice and easy. Instant pot coconut chicken curry and cauliflower. And it is a recipe that you can have done in no time because of the Instant Pot and super easy and delicious. Now I hesitate to give you all the carbs and nutrients and everything in there because it really is gonna depend on how much you are using as a serving size and how much you're putting in there. But for me, the entire recipe, I've got it written on my phone right here, was 49 total carbs and that made eight one and a half cup servings. And so each of those servings was 6.5 carbs if you break it down into that much. But you'll need to do the whole recipe, measure it out on how many servings you're gonna use in order to get the exact carb count for you. But I hope you'll give this a shot. If you don't have an Instant Pot, you can do this in a slow cooker and leave it all day. You can also do this on the stove top and do like I did with the sauce, throw the chicken and cauliflower in there and let that kind of cover it and let that cook until it's nice and tender and cook through. Just make sure that chicken's all the way cooked through. But the Instant Pot is instant and super easy. So that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you're having a great day. Stay inspired. I'll see you next week for more recipes. And if you haven't checked out my ice cream sandwich keto recipe, I will link that in the cards as well as, as the description box. That one is super yummy if you need a dessert to cool your mouth off from the spicy curry. See ya.